resilience of Pajara. Look at that. He has taken 11 blows on the body in this innings, some on the head. He has uh, an amazing inability, actually, to be able to, hit, to pick up the short ball. He seems to really struggle against it, but it doesn't deter him from sticking it out, from weathering these faster bowlers' aggression and absorbing their hostility, never giving in, never shirking the challenge. A number of times that the physio was brought on when he was hit on the fingers or on the body, but uh, completely undaunted by the challenge. Look, he's uh, 89 balls, he's faced there for eight, and 95 balls for nine. Just determined to stick it out and make it a little bit easier for the, the lower order batsman taking the opportunity to hit the odd boundary. And certainly if you bowl wide to Pajara, you're going to pay. But still happy to take blows for the team. Never uh, shirking that uh, dedication to the crease. That was a nasty blow on the arm. There was a physio coming out to check he was all right. No bother, no bother. Back out there, right behind the next ball. And just really kind of denying that the Australian bowlers any openings at all. It was the most valiant, determined, and at times almost sort of masochistic performance by Pujara, who of course was, was responsible partly for the last time that the Indians won in Australia. He batted 31 hours in that series. He's batted about 20 hours in this series. <laughs> I, 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 he must be black and blue by the end. Actually, well, that was a particularly nasty blow from a ferocious delivery from Josh Hazelwood. Thank goodness for helmets. And he got up again and was still happy to face the music. He stuck it out for over five hours and pulled the ball away. He was still in at T, picked up a few runs down the, the leg side off Nathan Lyon. Look at that, 43 not out at T, 168 balls he had absorbed.